Namaste and a very, very good afternoon to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Bithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to merge two different data sets using SPSS. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to merge two different data sets using, excuse me, how to merge two different data sets in SPSS, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by asking a simple question. What exactly is merging and why do we perform merging in SPSS? To answer the first question as to what is merging, merging is the process of adding additional rows to the existing data set. Merging can be described as the process of combining two data sets. I repeat, it is the process of combining two data sets. When we are combining two data sets, we have two goals. The first goal could be to either add rows to the first data set from the second data set, or it could be to add additional columns from the second data set to the first data set. I repeat, either you can add additional rows or you can add additional columns to the first data set from the second data set. To demonstrate the process of merging in SPSS, I'm going to work on a file which is called as the Northern file. Let me go to the file menu in SPSS. Once I click on the file menu, let me move to recently used data. Right at the top, you can see our data set. The second option from the top is what is called as north.sav. This is the name of the file. I've called this, called this as North because this data set has employee details who are working in the Northern branch of the country. Let me click on OK. SPSS displays the name of the file at the top left-hand side corner. As I mentioned earlier, this data set consists of employee details working in a particular bank. You have information like ID, gender, birth date, other demographic details like education, job category, salary, so on and so forth. I like to draw your attention to the last variable in the data set. Please observe in this data set, branch is the one which differentiates. I say branch is a very, very important variable because in this data set, all the employees belong to one particular region, which is the Northern region. You can clearly see here, all the employees belong to only one region. As a further check, what you can do is, you can go to the Analyze menu. The second option from the top is Descriptive Statistics. Within Descriptive Statistics, you have the first option, which is called as Frequencies. Let me click on the option frequencies. This will open up a new dialog box, which is called as the frequencies dialog box. In the left hand side, you can see the list of variables that are present in the data set. I'm going to select the last variable, namely branch and push it into the variables list. Let me now click on the option. OK. This is the output window in the output window of SPSS. You can see the frequency distribution table. This says that there are 100 employees in this particular data set. All of them belong to the Northern branch. Now, one very important thing as far as merging is concerned is that you need two different files. So what I've shown right now is information from the first file. Let me now pull out the second file based on which I will add rows. To pull out the second file, I'll be going to the file menu, scroll down to recently used data. Here, the second item from the top is south. Let me click on the option south. You can see here at the top, the name of the file is south. This is again employee data set of working in a bank. But here 
I've got information from southern region. The variables by and large are the same. You have employee ID, gender, birth date, and other demographic details like education, job category, and salary. If I scroll to the extreme right side, you have a variable which is called as branch. Please notice that here, the employees belong to a different branch, namely the southern branch. I like to examine this particular variable in greater detail. So I'll be clicking on the variable view. This is the variable view which provides the variable description. So this is a string data type and its width is 5. Let me quickly check the frequency distribution of the variable branch. How do I do it? I can go to the Analyze menu, Descriptive Statistics. The first option here is Frequencies. Once I click on this, a new dialog box opens up. Let me scroll down. You can see here the last variable is Branch. Let me select the variable Branch and hit the OK button. Here, when you look at this particular table, SPSS says that this consists of 50 records belonging to employees of the southern region. Please observe, in the earlier data set, I had 100 employees belonging to the northern region. In the second data set, I've got 50 employees belonging to the southern region. What is the goal of merging? The goal of merging is to combine the first file with that of the second file. When you combine these two files, you will get a new file with 150 records. Why do I say 150 records? 100 from the first file and 50 from the second file. Let me first go to dataset 1. You can see here I'm working on north.sav. I'll be clicking on the data menu here. In the data menu bar, you have a lot of options. You can see here, this is the option for merging files. The moment I hover the mouse on top of merging, you can see that SPSS displays two options here. First is add cases. Second is add variables. Adding rows is nothing but add Adding rows, my apologies, is nothing but including or adding additional rows to the first file from the second data set. Look at the second option here, add variables. What does this do? Add variables is to add additional columns from the second file onto the first file. Let me click on the option add cases. After clicking Add Cases, you can see here SPSS takes us to a new dialog box. You can see here SPSS says, select a data set from a list of open data sets or from a file to merge with the active data set. Since I have an open data set, namely South, I will select the second file, which is called as South. Once you have selected this particular option, you can choose the OK, my apologies, you can choose the continue button. You can hit the continue button here. Once I've clicked on the continue button here, you can see in the left hand side, there is a box which says unpaired variables. And there is no variable that is being displayed here, which means that SPSS has found a common variable in both the data set. When I say common variable, if there is a variable ID, in the first file, in the second file also, it should have the same variable. This variable ID, which is present in both the data set, acts like a common data set, common variable. Now, if there are unpaired paired variables, SPSS would highlight by providing an asterisk mark next to it. An asterisk mark next to any variable indicates that that particular variable is an unpaired variable from the from the active data set. If there's a plus sign, 
next to any variable under the unpaired section, it means that it is the unpaired variable belong to the second file. Thankfully, I do not have any unpaired variables. You can see here the variables that will be present in the new data set. You have ID, gender, birth date, and the rest of the demographic details. The last variable branch indicates the branch which to which the employee belongs. So this is how simple it is to merge two files. Just remember that the variable names should be same in both the files. The width of the variables must be the same in both the files. And the data type of each of the variables must be the same. When I say data type, it means is the variable string in the first data set? If it is string in the first data set, the variable should be necessarily string in the second data set as well. If it is numeric in the first file and string, SPSS gives an objection sign saying that we can't merge inconsistent data types. Once you have done this, you need to click on the OK button. I've clicked on the OK button. Let me scroll to the extreme right side. When I scroll down, you can see here the first few cases are northern. Below this, you have the southern region as well. So in one file, we have added information from the second data set as well. Look at the count of the file now. Now the file has 150 cases. To be more sure, what you can do is you can go to the Analyze menu. Choose the Descriptive Statistics option. Here the very first item is Frequencies. In the frequencies, you can see here, we can select branch and rerun the analysis. Interestingly, you can see here in the output window, the branch has the following frequency distribution. You have the combined file in which you have 100 employees belonging to the northern region and you have 50 employees who belong to the southern region. So this is how we can combine two different files and make it into one. Let me go to the first frequency distribution table. You had 100 employees from the northern region. Then we performed the frequency distribution on the south file. We had 50 employees from the southern region. After merging, we have a total of 150 employees. This is very, very useful because you do not have to run two different kinds of analysis for people of two different branches. You can run the analysis once on the combined file. Let me go to SPSS and select the first data set, which is called as North. I can rename this particular file now. I can just say file, save as I can call this as combined file. This is the combined file because it has information from both the regions, namely north, as you can see, and south. Now, with this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we have seen what is the process of merging. We have seen the conditions for merging. The three conditions for merging would be that the data set should have common variables. The data type should be consistent. The width of the variables must also be consistent. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.